GM power steering pump, the seal was leaking on the bottom here in this area. So I took it apart. Taking it apart is simple. There's a screw right here, and that screw right there. This one goes on the bottom right here. Holds the bracket as well, and this one goes up on top. You have this fitting where the pressure line goes that has to be removed and as you can see there's a plunger inside with the spring you don't want to lose that the seal gets replaced there's an o-ring right here as well and I'm putting this back so we don't lose it okay there we go there's an o-ring right there as well and an o-ring there all of that comes in a kit I'm headed down to the parts store hopefully the kids there know exactly what I'm talking about this seal here comes in the kit as well but that's that's fine we're not gonna mess with that and installation would be the same thing putting it back together should be easy clean up the surface clean the inside clean this general area here everything should be fine well here's the kit Napa actually had it it's a seal kit comes with all the necessary necessary seals we need for it to get that leak fixed Taking these off should be easy. Oh yeah, this really dried out. Man, not good. That seal out. This one right here. These little tools here are pretty nifty. Let's open up the seal kit, see what's going on with it. See what we have. Okay, I know I'm going to need this one. That one goes there. extra ones here. I don't know what for, but that's there. Actually, this is the only one that was leaking right here. I should seal up pretty good. It looks like that one goes there. That one goes there. There's this seal right here also. That one. Put that one right there. And there's one right here which I believe will be this one here. little bit oily but that's okay because this will slide right in there. 
put everything back together we should be fine okay, that's old that's old we're not going to put the uh the pump seal that's the one that's right here we're not doing that one i wish the kid would have come with an extra big o-ring here because they give you two of the other ones but only one of the one that really goes out the most common times Let's wipe this off just a little bit this housing is a little bit bent right here I'm gonna just a couple of wax on it. Yeah, it's not too bad. A bit of black paint. This baby back together. Very easy to do. Make sure this plunger doesn't fall out. What you want to do is make sure that this edge is clean. in place one more time there we go and just as easy as that it is in this is the first one you want to put in make sure it doesn't come apart on you It is spring loaded, so that's good. You have this big screw that goes right in here. And on the bottom one, we had this stud. Because this is what holds the bracket. This one right here goes right like so. Okay. Okay, all the screws are in. I can feel the pump pushing in. Okay, for this we're going to need the impact. If I can find it. That's good enough for me. Now the big one here takes this big socket. It's a one inch. That's all there is to it. Put the two brackets back on. This one right here. The other one actually goes on with sail down with the stud, so that just slides in there.
that one. And we have this one right here. That's the front adjustment one. Hopefully this thing doesn't leak anymore. So far so good and there we have it one power steering pump installed now we have power steering on this truck yeah